Hello again, everybody. It's Jeff Fox here from the Sports Brothers Radio Show. And, of course, the Jeff Fox Show, Rep Your City TV. We are here with a great friend of the show. Once again, the great friend, Mayor Oliver Gilbert. Of course, we're doing this once again, man. It is that time of the year. Look, back again. This is it's Jazz in the Gardens. If it's March, it's Jazz in the Gardens. Not just in Miami Gardens, not just in Miami Day, not just in South Florida, but around the world. Yeah. It's March, it's Jazz in the Gardens time, so y'all come on down. It's warm here, it's cold where you're at. It's 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 not raining here, it's raining where you're at. We have a better party than you. Come party with us. <laughs> Absolutely. And Miami is known for winners, especially lately. You know, the Oscars just went down. Uh, you know, we're winning with moonlight. You're winning, of course, recently reelected again. And we're winning because Jazz in the Gardens is getting better. It, it is getting better. We have an extraordinary lineup. And, you know, it's worth noting that the Moonlight, two, the Moonlight Stars were kids who are from Miami Gardens. They actually attend Norland Middle School. So it's really an extraordinary thing that we're, we're able to showcase our talent in that way. And Jazz in the Gardens is an example of us showcasing our ability to be an extraordinary host, an extraordinary entertainment venue. You know, this year with Jill Scott and LL Cool J coming back and Common and Audra Day and The Roots and Morris Day in the Time and Marion Meadows and the incomparable Betty Wright. I mean, we, we have people, we have a stage that's going to be on fire. We have an audience that is extraordinary. And we have an atmosphere that, that's going to ask you to come back year after year after year. One question I always wanted to ask you, and I ask you every year, because it seems like you, you, you know, Michael Jackson, the Thrill album, right? I think that's the greatest album ever, right? You, you can only do great things like that once. But you guys at Jazz in the Gardens, this is year number 12, and you keep reinventing this thing and getting better and better every year. How does that happen? What's the process? Well, we like, we like to challenge the status quo. And, uh, you know, it's, it's worth noting that Jazz in the Gardens was a concert that was in a parking lot for a couple of hundred people when it started. And, and so when we challenged the idea that you can transform a parking lot into an uh, entertainment venue, then it was challenging the idea that you can get world-class talent to come. Then it was challenging the idea that you know people wouldn't buy tickets. Then it was challenging the idea that now, this year, we have an arts conference, and we have a national poetry contest. Uh, you know, it's, it's challenging the norms, because when people think of of, of specific cities, black cities. They think of cities, oh, this is what they do. This is who they are. And what we're saying is we're a whole bunch of things, and we're going to show you a lot of them at Jazz in the Gardens. So we're not just having a concert here because we're, you know, again, with the success of Moonlight, the spotlight on Miami Norland, our inner city, our youth, the talent here in Miami, you're, af you're having this conference here as well. It's not just about the concert. It's also about, you know, the, uh, the events, the film conference and all that, the poetry events. So many things going on for the young inner city kids here in Miami. Talk about that. Well, yeah, our young kids. Our young kids uh, will definitely be exposed. But it's interesting that we're highlighting, you know, we have Betty Wright on stage, who's a legend, but who's right from right here in South Florida, but we're going to actually highlight black music. So we're going to be doing a presentation to Milton Mustafa, who's an extraordinary, he's a legend in music. You know, we're doing we're, we're doing a, a, a short, I guess, feature on some of the extraordinary talent that 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 is black music in South Florida, from Flo Rida to, to Big D and Lamb and Betty Wright and the Mustafas and Ted Lucas, you know, and, and Uncle Luke, Luther Campbell. And so we're doing a feature just to show people exactly what our contribution has been but also it, it's a it's something that you can point to for children um, not just children in the city but children everywhere these are people who came from their community they were able to make themselves hot and in a lot of ways that kind of is what Miami Gardens is it is what Jazz in the Gardens is the city was a city that couldn't survive and now we thrive people People won't develop here, and now they're developing here. Jazz in the Gardens was uh, an event that would never, it could never be like the the concerts they have up in Rivera Beach. And now uh, we're 12 years in and an international event. You challenge the norms if the norms don't reflect your better self, and then expand. You do realize also that this event, the uh, Jazz in the Gardens event, has absolutely rivaled now the Essence Fest in New Orleans. We're right there. I'm, I'm telling you, we're right there. This is what I'm hearing from people on the street. Look, I, I think that I've been to Essence. Essence has a great festival. I won't take anything away from them. And But this is what I, and people say, oh, you all are going to be better than Essence. This is what I say. There doesn't have to be one great, extraordinary black thing. We can have a whole bunch of them. We got into this idea where it has to be us or them. I want it to be us and them and Carnival and, and the Orange Blossom Classic and a whole bunch of other entertainment venues that reflect 
our talent, our ability, and our economic buying power. Let's show people what we can do when we have when we have an aggregated interest and will, and we move in that and we move that in the same direction. It goes down March 18th and 19th at the newly developed Hard Rock Stadium, man. And the Dolphins House, it's beautiful. Uh, talk about having it now there at that stadium once again and to finally have all of that work done. This is going to be great, man. Well, the stadium the stadium's extraordinary. Hard Rock Stadium, newly renovated uh, by by Stephen Ross, the owner of the Dolphins. It's an extraordinary venue. And, and they're, they're – one of our bigger sponsors and a good community supporter. And so I think that when people come, when they come to the Jazz and Gardens, if it's your first time, you're always surprised by what it, what it is. But but if you have a chance to visit the stadium and attend a game or attend something inside the stadium, it is an extraordinary venue that I know, you know, is there's nothing like it in Florida, definitely nothing like it in South Florida. And, and so we're happy to have them as, as our our largest corporate resident and, uh, in, and our partner in Jazz and the Gardens. See how clean he is, y'all? See how clean he is? He's Mayor Oliver Gilbert. He's so nice. He won the same election twice. I like that. I came up with that myself. Yeah, and it rhymed in everything, Jeff. Yeah, I don't know. You must be a sports guy. It rhymed in everything. You must wear Old Spice. No, no. <laughs> no doubt. It goes down March 18th and 19th right here in Miami Gardens. The Honorable Mayor Oliver Gilbert, thank you so much for joining us once again. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you, everybody. I see you all at Jazz in the Gardens. There you have it. Jeff Fox, the Jeff Fox Show, Sports Brothers Radio Network, and Rep Your City TV.